In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Minecraft multiplayer with mods. Now, there's multiple ways that we could do this, but in this video, I'm going to show to you, in my opinion, the easiest and most effective way to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing Google Chrome, but you could utilize whatever you want. And essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our very own server and then we're going to be uploading our mods to that server. And then from there, all of our friends can go ahead and join it and you guys can basically play together. All you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and look up essential mod just like so. Essential mod is a Minecraft mod that will allow you and all of your friends to play together. And by the way, all of your friends need to also install the Essential mod as well. So go ahead and just go to the official Essential.gg website just like so. Once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to press on this blue download button over here. This is the Essential installer. And then there you go. Here it is. All right. Now we'll say Essential installer.exe. And now all we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this file to our desktop. And I recommend that you guys do the same thing as well, just for clarity purposes and to make the process a little bit easier. Unfortunately, there is a lot of limitations with the Essential mod. For starters, we are not able to play Minecraft mods 24 seven. It will only work if you're hosting the world and if you're currently playing Minecraft. However, if you want a simple plug and play solution, then consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and quality servers where you're able to upload mods and mod packs with the click of a single button. In fact, Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers. So if you want a 24 seven server where you and your friends can go ahead and play mods then consider checking out Simple Game Hosting in the link in the description down below. All right, but now all you want to do is you want to double click on the essential installer.exe file, just like so. Go ahead and double click and then just wait for a menu to actually appear. All right, and then here it is, guys. Then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on get started. Now, you want to go ahead and select on your launcher. Make sure to go ahead and select on Minecraft launcher. And then you want to go ahead and press on new installation. If you're a little bit curious, I did use the essential mod before. That's why I have all these different options, but just go ahead and press on new installation. And now you want to go ahead and give it a name. So I'm just going to be calling this 1.21 modded server. And now you and all of your friends need to be on the same Minecraft version. So make sure to go ahead and select on the Minecraft version that you want your server to be on. So for this video, I'm going to keep it simple and just keep it to the latest version of Minecraft. All right, now here's where things get really important as well. Over here where it says mod loader, you're going to see multiple different options. So go ahead and select the mod loader that is compatible with the mods you're trying to download. So a lot of mods are only compatible with like NeoForge, Forge and Fabric. So you just want to go ahead and pick whichever one you want. So for this video, I'm going to pick Forge. And now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on create and install essential. But please remember what mod loader you did install. So again, we are downloading Forge. So that means for the rest of the tutorial and for the rest of the process, we need to work with Forge. But anyways, guys, once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on create and install. And now it will begin to install the essential mod, which will then allow you to go ahead and host your very own modded Minecraft world. All right. Once it says installed, feel free to go ahead and close out of the essential installer. Then from here, all we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher one more time. So just go ahead and do that really quickly. You want to make sure that you're logged into your Microsoft account and you want to make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected. After that, you want to go to the top menu and press over here where it does say installations. Then where it says versions, you want to make sure that the box that says modded is actually turned on because essential mod is considered a modded version of Minecraft. So please keep that in mind. Then you should see it right over here. If you don't see it for whatever reason, go ahead and try and press on new installation and then just look for it right over here. So 1.21 and then essential like so. But yeah, we have the essential mod over here. You're able to see the logo. So that means we are good to go. All right. So now we need to go ahead and download the mods that we're actually going to play on our server. So to do this, all you want to do is you want to open up any web browser one more time. Then you want to go ahead and search up a reliable website where you're able to find Minecraft mods. There is many great ones out there. However, I personally recommend Modernth because Modernth offers a lot of great features. So uh, basically from here, you want to make sure that you do select on the game version and then where it says loader, you want to make sure you select on the correct mod loader as well. So recall, we were working with Forge previously in the video. So go ahead and press on Forge. And then from here, it is going to show you all of the compatible mods that you're able to go ahead and install. So for this video, let's just keep it simple and install the Exarios minimap mod right over here. But obviously you guys can go ahead and download more complex mods if you want. But all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on versions. 
And then you want to go ahead and locate the option for Forge. So yep, here is Forge right over here. And now all we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and just press on this download button over here. And then there you go. We now have the mod file right over here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and drag and drop it to my desktop uh, one more time just to make the process a little bit more easier. And I recommend that you guys do the same thing as well. By the way, if you do not see the file over here like I do, do not worry. Uh, that definitely depends on what web browser you are using. But you could always go ahead and open up your file explorer. And then all these files that we've been working with should be underneath download. Okay, now once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and back to the Minecraft launcher. You want to go over to where it says installations, locate the essential uh, modded server installation. Then you want to go to the right and you want to press on this button that does say open installations folder. Now, once you're over here, you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on the folder that says mods. All right, now from here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop the mod that we're trying to download inside of this folder. And that is basically going to add it to the essential mod. So all we need to do is we need to go ahead and drag and drop it. There you go. So we should have two mods at the moment. So we got the essential, which is normal. Do not delete that or anything like that. Just leave that the way it is. But basically you wanna add all the mods over here, the mods that you and your friends are, are going to play on. And by the way, your friends also need to download the mods as well on their device. So please, if you're trying to play with your friends, link them this video because they need to do the process as well. All right, so once you're done with that, all you wanna do is you wanna head back to the Minecraft launcher, go over here towards the play, Make sure that essential 1.21 modded server is selected or whatever Minecraft version you selected. Uh, and now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on play, press on I understand, then go ahead and press on play one more time. All right, guys, here we are now. As you're able to tell, we are now officially loaded in. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to host your very own world on the essential mod, and I'm going to show you how to add your friends from there. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. So you want to go to the main menu and you want to press on host world. Then you guys could either create a brand new world that you want to play Minecraft multiplayer with, or you can go ahead and host an existing one. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one uh, just really fast. There you go. Put it in creative mode, then press on create new world just like so. All right, now it is going to load us into our Minecraft world. All right, so here we are, guys. So as you're able to tell, the mod is fully working. So make sure to go ahead and test out your mod and make sure that it's working. So, yep, in our case, our mod is working perfectly fine. So now let's go ahead and actually start inviting people. So to do that, we need to go ahead and just go ahead and press on escape. Then we need to press on social. From here, we need to actually add people as a friend. We need to add our friends on the essential mod. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press over here to where it says add friend and then enter in their Minecraft username. Then go ahead and press on add. And then from there, they will get a request. And all they need to do is just accept your request and then you should be good to go. And now once you do have your friend added, then all you need to do is you need to go ahead and press on invite, press on proceed. Then you guys could select on the basic world settings. So you guys could select on the game mode, the difficulty, the cheats and all that. Go ahead and press on next. And then from there, you guys can go ahead and actually invite all of your friends. And whenever your friends are online, they will appear towards the top of the screen and they will have like a green icon next to them. So that is how you know that they're online. Uh, at the moment, none of my friends are online. So I'm just going to be inviting these random people and then they will get an invite to the actual Minecraft world. And then from there, they could join it. So again, I just want to clarify that in order for your friends to join, they also need to be on the same essential mod version as you. So remember previously in the video, we downloaded essential mod for Minecraft 1.21.5. So that means you and your friends need to be on Minecraft 1.21.5 as well. And they also need to download the exact same mod as you as well. So that means if other people were trying to join this world, they would also need to install the Exario's minimap mod, which we did download previously. But if this process is a little bit too confusing and you just want a simple plug and play solution, then consider checking out our partner, Simple Game Hosting, where you're able to get affordable and quality servers with the click of a button. You're able to upload mods, mod packs, and there's 24 7 live customer support. And if that's something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below or in the pinned comments. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, French fries.